Priyas, after opening up the space sector to private entities, the government has released the Indian Space Policy document that sets out and really formalizes the roles of private as well as government entities in the sector. My colleague Ashwarya Patel has filed this report. Take a look. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Normal. Well, that was the 57th liftoff of ISRO's PSLV rocket. India's space agency saw its inception in 1969, driven by a small group of scientists led by Vikram Sarabhai. And India's new space policy aims to take India farther into deep space more than ever before. Over the last 50 years, the Indian Space Research Organization has created an unforgettable legacy. From launching the very first satellite Aryabhatta into space in 1975 to executing various space missions to the Moon, Mars and beyond, ISRO has come a long way. India has put itself on the world map as a space prodigy. But this sector needed liberalization. And with the unveiling of the new space policy, private players, especially Indian space tech startups, are all set to take off. India's space economy is expected to scale to almost $50 billion in the next decade. What the policy does, in effect, is open up the full space sector, every aspect of space sector, to the private sector in India. Anything it wants, private sector can play. What we are hoping is that we will be able to bring satellite broadband into India in the next three to five years, uh, using many of the existing players outside India or emerging players outside India, such as uh, Starlink, Amazon, OneWeb, uh, Telenet. There are many such services that are that are beginning to come up now. Uh, and what any space will do is to facilitate the private sector to come in. The first set are the startups. Uh, the companies like Skyroot, Agnicol, Pixel, uh, Digantra, Drew Space, all of these startups that are just beginning their journey. With liberalization in the space sector over the last two years, the number of startups in the industry have grown by almost six times. Today, almost 150 players dabble in Earth observation services, space exploration, develop launch vehicles, and much more. One such company that has made their mark in the space sector is Skyroot Aerospace. We designed and developed uh, our launch vehicle called Vikram uh, Launch Vehicle. And our first launch vehicle is called Vikram on Launch Vehicle, uh, which we are going to send to orbit soon. So over the last five years, our team has grown and our uh, technological competency we've been able to prove uh, with various uh, milestones. And in November 2018, uh, we became the first company in South Asia, South, entire South Asia to be able to reach space uh, and uh, this put India, the private sector of India, in the top three nations in the world. Currently, the uh, world space market is around 400 billion and it's, it's going to cross a, tri a trillion dollars soon. And uh, India's share of that uh, is, the anticipation is within a decade that the 10% of the trillion dollar market has to be captured by India. Well, India's space tech startups are shooting for the stars, although still in their nascent stage in the trillion dollar global space economy, the sector will likely get required fuel from the new space policy to boost off into infinity and beyond.